Hey guys, welcome to today's day in the life vlog. I started off at my desk, yes, in my pajamas, doing a bit of research. This was for tutoring preparation, but I did, as always, get a bit carried away. And then I just filled out my to-do list for that day, as well as my diary. Good morning. I wake up and I'm like, what? My hair is short? This short again? And I'm like, oh yeah. We attempted to cut our hair, didn't we? Yeah, But yeah, here we are with a, a very fluffy poof because I washed it yesterday. I love the smell of my hair the day after I wash it. It's Wednesday today. I stripped my bed and that is the worst thing that I have to do. Like a chore type thing. I greatly detest making my bed. I only have a single bed. My bed is so small. Like, how do people make these gigantic beds? I just don't even know. Like, how do you do it? That's why I love my cot. I need to get dressed. I was just doing some things on my computer. I added some things to my to-do list today. I have so many emails to do and loads of things to sort out today, but it's okay. We're not going to start the day stressed. I did have a bad sleep again, two nights in a row. I have not slept very well because my mind has just been going a bit like crazy thinking about a few things. But anyways, I need to get dressed. How is it like such a struggle to reach things in my own wardrobe? Okay, I'm gonna wear these I think today Turtle tee tucking it in obviously to these like really wavy trousers these like curtain things I just figured I'm not gonna be going out anytime soon So I may as well wear like my nicer clothes at home UK is still in lockdown things are easing obviously, but we're still not like back to normal The way it tucks in is really annoying because it like bulges up, but it will do I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but I just don't really like walking around the house barefooted I just have to have like socks on so I found these and I was like <gasps> if I was going out I don't know what shoes I'd wear. Good job I'm not going out. But, you know, little socks. I'm fully aware that my hair looks like a triangle shape right now, but we're just gonna deal with it. Good news today, there aren't any builders spontaneously. They're just not coming today. And what does that mean? That means there's like no banging all day. That's so good. So as I said at the very start of this video, it is sponsored by Spotlight Oral Care. I just thought it was a good opportunity to talk about something that I haven't really addressed before, but it's something we all do, like brush our teeth, care for our teeth. For me personally, I started to really like take control and take care of my teeth after I had braces. I did have braces for just over two years. And since then, I have really just wanted to take care of my teeth. Like I wanted to go to the dentist and for them to be like, wow, Holly, your teeth are great, no fillings. I've never had a filling, touch wood. So in terms of what I do, I brush my teeth twice a day and I also floss my teeth once a day usually or every day in the evening basically but I floss before I brush my teeth because apparently it's better to floss before you brush. I will sometimes floss throughout the day if I've had like, I don't know, a mango and I have stuff stuck in my teeth. And then I also use mouthwash once a day in the evenings as well. I also brush my teeth in the mornings before I've eaten breakfast. I switched that up like quite a few years ago now, maybe like three years ago, and I prefer doing it that way. With Spotlight Oral Care then, I have recently started using their Sonic toothbrush, which is so cool i have not had a toothbrush like this in such a long time i've just had a manual one or whatever you call them it's so simple yet so effective the brand spotlight oral care it was created by like two irish dentists it's clinically proven toxin free sulfate free it's also cruelty free and therefore suitable for vegans which is amazing and they also cater for people who have sensitive teeth i personally don't really have sensitive teeth but it's a very inclusive brand basically and all the packaging and stuff is also recyclable they also have five different toothpaste and i've been using two of them but basically Basically with this brush first of all because it's like so cool this is the brush it has a detachable head you charge it and it lasts for like 70 days which is such a long time it also just simply has three modes but they do different things so it has a clean mode whitening mode and sensitive mode the frequency of vibration is different on each so clean whitening has a higher frequency and then the sensitive one has the lowest frequency so basically i started using this brush with the sensitive one because i put it in my mouth and oh my gosh i wish i had filmed this the first time i used it 
I've been using it for about a week now. I hadn't used the toothbrush like this in such a long time and I was literally wetting myself because I couldn't do it. But now I essentially use the cleaning mode most often. It also has like a two minute program so it will stop after two minutes which is so good because I do have a tendency to like over brush my teeth. I do sometimes put on the whitening mode because as I said it vibrates at a higher frequency and it tends to like remove stains and I've noticed when I looked at my teeth up close the other day I noticed that I had a bit of stain on the back of my bottom teeth and I'm hoping that this whitening mode will like scrub that off and help me really clean them super super thoroughly and then with the toothpaste I have the total care one which I'm using at the moment and then I also have the whitening one so they come in these cubes cubes this is not a cube this is a tube I use a fluoride toothpaste which it has in as I said before vegan friendly it's also ocean safe ocean friendly the turtle top is very appropriate today and like the main thing for me in a toothpaste is that it tastes good it's minty it leaves my breath feeling nice and fresh so yeah if you want to try anything from spotlight oral care whether it's the toothpaste or their toothbrush then you can get 25% off using the code hollyg25 and that is in the description box below there is a link that you just click on and you just apply the code and you'll get 25% off so yeah thank you to spotlight oral care for sponsoring today's video i just really like to keep my teeth clean and i like to look after them jeez So whilst making my classic breakfast smoothie, I did just prep overnight oats for lunch and that recipe is on my website. Whilst I was at my desk, I was editing a video, replying to some YouTube comments, and then I moved on to doing some tutoring preparation for a two hour session I had later that day. Once I had finished making my notes in my tutoring book, I then moved on to making a PowerPoint and then did some of my emails that were overflowing in my inbox. Okay, so what's the time? It's like two o'clock, coming up to two o'clock. No, it's not. It's coming up to three o'clock. I have a two hour tutoring session at four till six. So I will have lunch before that. That will be like an early ish lunch for me. I'm going to have it after this. Normally I eat lunch a lot later in the day. Okay, we don't need to talk about how out of sync my routine is right now. Okay, okay. But yeah, essentially today in today's vlog, I thought I would give you some updates on my masters and talk you through my dilemma because I just don't even know what to do. My brain hurts thinking about this. It's probably the reason why I haven't slept for these past two days. At the moment, I'm also feeling under pressure because the deadline to respond to Kings is coming up at the end of June the 30th. So in like under a week now, my battery is also flashing. Thank you, camera. Right in the pinnacle of this moment. Let's not beat around the bush here. Let's jump straight into it. So essentially, if you've kept up to date with my master's live reaction videos that kind of mini series you'll know that i have an offer for kings it's an unconditional offer i was very happy it's my most recent offer i'm still waiting to hear back from ucl and then my first offer was from as we know it's Wageningen in the Netherlands. All of this is to study nutrition. My vision at the moment, I don't really know where I'm going with it, but I think I kind of see myself going either into research or the media space, something like that. I don't really know. It's kind of exciting because I feel as if I'm just gonna make it up as I go along and I'm just gonna see where I end up, but it's also really scary at the same time to be launching into something that is very much unknown. And right now, the combination of someone who is very indecisive, AKA me, and the uncertainty globally right now is a recipe for disaster. It just is. But okay, so it's not just as simple as that. So I have two offers. I'm waiting to hear back from one. Oh, and we haven't talked about Tom, Germany. They still just aren't replying to me. So I'm just not going to talk about that. Okay. I kind of have two issues at the moment. One of them I've talked to you a bit about before. So we'll start with that. It's essentially that I think at the moment, wherever I start, whether it's in the UK, in London, or abroad, it's going to start online, I think. I know I could feasibly work at home, but it's just not my preferred option. And I know we have to come to a compromise here, but I just don't know when I'm studying, I have to be in my own zone, my own routine. I do close myself in quite a lot and I just go into holy work mode. And yeah, so studying from home and online, I just can't see a positive in it. Oh, that's my alarm. Alexa, stop. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You know I schedule alarms throughout my day. It's not strange, right? In the UK, the lockdown is easing and it might be that I can go into London and do some practicals and stuff, but 
I would have liked to have lived in London as well and then if I went to the Netherlands it would have been amazing to study there in person but I can assume it's gonna be predominantly online socially distanced learning and all this stuff but yeah I was just looking on the website for the Netherlands and travel restrictions and stuff they have a travel restriction in place up until the end of this month as well and then I think things are gonna change so I need to stay updated because will I be able to like sneak onto a train and just banish it's not too far from the uk and yes i'd have to sort out housing and accommodation and stuff but oh uh, i don't know basically this is the uncertainty and then this is me being indecisive but the bigger dilemma and the new dilemma that was brought to my attention by dad the other day and i was like oh my gosh i haven't thought about that yet as a solution to this whole online learning studying thing i thought okay why not just defer my entry to Wageningen and start in february or early 2021 that just seemed perfect right right but no the uk has left the eu we are in this transition period until the end of the year like the 31st of december and after that i will no longer be classed as an eu citizen if i started the course this year in september i would be an eu citizen and i would get the lower course fees which is something like 2000 euros per year after we officially leave the eu so basically if i started next year in 2021 the price would go up so much it's a crazy increase and it's like if i can get the course at a fraction of the price why would i delay it and pay so much more so this is per academic year the whole course is two years so it would be double this but anyway it's 2100 143 euros per academic year for eu students and those in the netherlands and stuff but as a non-eu student it jumps up to 18,700 euros per academic year i therefore think i can't defer my entry to wageningen anymore as i said it seems so illogical to pay so much more and I confirmed this, I've emailed them, I've spoken to them about it. Anyway, so as I said, that deferred entry is now out the window. I fully swept that out of my mind because it's just not worth it. It's really not worth it. I need to make the decision at the moment between UK, London or studying in the Netherlands because I think either way I'm going to be starting online. So that's my decision at the moment and I just don't know. I don't know, I just really need to go with my gut, but I don't know what my gut is saying right now. Why won't it speak to me? Anyway, because the courses are so expensive in the UK as well, it really does put the pressure on me to work super hard, do really well, get the most out of it and make sure it's the right course for me. And I just don't have the answer to that right yet. Hmm? What am I trying to say? I just don't have those answers. UCL and Kings, they're both globally well-recognized universities. I know Wageningen is amazing and specializes in life sciences, but it's not as globally recognized. And if I am honest, that is something I think about, like the reputation and which qualification is gonna look better for me. And, oh, I just don't even know. But then I'm like, I always kind of said it would be amazing to study abroad. And now is the time to kind of do that with a master's and the course in the Netherlands it's two years, it has really cool internships on offer. I could maybe study Dutch because it's kind of similar to German, probably even harder I've heard, but you know, oh! I just wish someone could come and make this decision for me right now, but it's all on me. Do you see my struggle? Do you see my struggle? I hope you do. I honestly just don't even know what to do. I really don't, but right now I'm gonna go and have lunch. Our lunch time is everybody. Lunch was so easy and quick to prepare because as I said, I prepped overnight oats in the morning. Whilst I was eating my lunch, I did do some more of my emails just because I felt as if I needed to get on top of them. I washed up my stuff, put it on the draining board before going back upstairs and getting ready to start my two hour tutoring session bang on 4pm. And the way in which I'd structured this session was to do a bit of a recap at the start and then for the majority of the first hour I was doing questions and then after that we moved on to learning a whole new topic. Right. So, we're making the bed. Normally, I will leave making my bed to right at the end of the day and I just really can't be bothered to do it. So I thought, you know what, Holly, we're just gonna do it now. I always used to think that um, putting, why does one of my arms look really tanned and the other looks really pale? Um, don't really know. I always used to think that putting the undersheet on was the hardest bit, but it's actually not the hardest bit. <gasps> Je detest making the bed. Je detest it. We're putting on this bedding again, the one with the eyes. <gasps> You may as well just get inside the whole thing. What is this? 
Oh, it's not straight. It's so creased. Oh, I hate it. <gasps> Minnie, what is going wrong? Oh, I just hate making beds. Oh my god. <gasps> Deep breath in and out. Try again. This is my bed making tactics. It's not great. Thank goodness pillowcases are easier to make than the whole duvet. Finally, I have made the bed. Does anyone else struggle to make beds or is it just me? I think it's just me. Okay, so after that very traumatic experience trying to make my bed, back downstairs I just prepped the food that we were gonna have for dinner later, so I did it nice and early. Oh. Yeah. As you saw, I just prepped some broccoli, carrots, parsnips, and then I added, last but not least, a tin of sweet corn. After that, I then went on a short walk on my own around the village, through the fields, because of my injury. I haven't been going very far at the moment. Okay, so we're on a walk. I'm still not walking Bali and Java because they'll pull me and I don't want to hurt my foot. It's still not fully better. Like the past two days, I've noticed quite a lot of improvement in my foot, but it's still not fully better. I'm just trying to bide my time as much as possible before I get back to running. Hopefully by the end of the week or next week. I just know that if I push it too much and start too soon, it's gonna make it worse. And that would be stupid, obviously. <laughs> oh, I was thinking this should not know it's me. No, I just thought you were a random person. <laughs> I'm a random person. What are you doing? I'm walking. To where? Oh, so mum's just looking, Being nosy. going to someone's house along our road. I thought you were a stranger, so I stopped vlogging because, you know, hashtag awkward turtle. Oh, Bye. Hashtag awkward turtle. Okay, so we can continue the conversation. It's just mum walking out the road. <laughs> I was literally like, this is a random person. I need to stop vlogging now, otherwise they're gonna think I'm weird. I'm kind of, oh fly. I'm kind of used to vlogging in public now, but still, I kind of do put it down or I film from like this angle. Get off my camera, fly. Um, yeah, but, oh God, they're in my hair now. Ah, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but I just went on a pretty quick walk um, in the fields. It's so nice to just be out walking. I was kind of just thinking in my head, not really getting any further with the decision making process. It was a really hot day today. I don't know what the temperature was today, but it was really hot, like near the 30s, maybe even in the 30s. I don't know. Bali, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Bali, chop chop. This is the look because I have short bits at the front of my hair now. It just doesn't all go back very easily into a low ponytail. So this is what we have to work with at the moment. My kind of routine at the moment is just spinning on my bike in the evenings quite late. I do really want to get back into running in the mornings. I just honestly can't wait to run again. But anyways, I might take my MacBook downstairs and do some emails whilst I'm just like doing my food quite late again. But yeah, I have such a big backlog of admin at the moment, but I might not even get that done because I need to talk to dad and really think about what's going on. I really need to talk this out and think about this. Oh, I seriously just feel so lost. Dad. Dad. Say Vargan Ingen. Before you didn't say it like that. Vargan Ingen, what? Before you didn't say it like that. How did I say it? I can't remember. Vargan Ingen. Yeah, Vargan Ingen. So yeah, we didn't do emails. I instead decided to look on the Harvard website. So here I am. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm asking myself why at this point. Whenever my brain feels confined, I just try and escape that. And I think of something completely new because I don't like making decisions. Yeah, I didn't update you with the books in this video, but I am reading a new book, Educated. Whenever I find myself in these situations trying to make a decision, my brain will just like latch on to a new idea and investigate that. And I'm like, why do I do this? I don't know if it's a sign or if it's telling me something. At the moment, I just don't really know. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog as usual. Like it if you did. Comment down below, subscribe if you want to stick around. And um, yeah, I will speak to you in another video. Thank you.